Hi, this is Glenda. Again, I thought I'd share what I've been doing. I bought the latest Tattered Lace magazine, number 31. I uh, can't quite get it all in screen, but I really liked the look of the dye that's, that's on it. And I rushed down to the shop to get it, and then I had a look at the dye. <laughs> and I nearly turned away and didn't get it. It, it has this serration along here and I just so wish they'd left that off. Um, I've been playing a lot with it, but you're kind of working around this thing the whole time. I, if they had just left it open, we could choose whether to score there or whether to, you know, double um, cut it and this sort of thing, but they haven't. So the idea is that it's a gate, so you have this serration so that you can bend it. And um, I discovered by accident that on their website you can download the template uh, for this little bit, uh, which I did, and then I cut it with my scan and cut. Um, but even on this one, I kind of felt the need to put something over it because you've got this horrible dotted holy line. I'm not a fan of that kind of scoring. But anyway, I've made this up and I've put my little bird in there and this is what they call a mini cage. I'm not sure how cage-like it looks. But anyway, it's somebody will enjoy the card. So I've tried a few different things. Um, one thing I found was that I was, was able to, um, with one of the cheery lindies that cuts all these little borders out, I was able to disguise that line whenever I was connecting it. Um, although in the end I ended up covering it over anyway. But I put two panels together to make this one and for this one I put two panels and matted it and kept them a bit separate. Uh, and then for this one I put two panels but I've trimmed around it. Um, as they suggest in the magazine you can trim around to change the shape. And this is another one where I changed the shape I, I did it too. This is the way they said to do it, and I wasn't that fussed, so I did it this way as well, where I left a little bit more on. But it's it's not it's fairly time consuming and not that easy to get it to look really nice. They want you to cut off quite a bit in places, and um, yeah, it's just not as you can sort of see little daggy bits where I didn't cut quite as neatly as a die would have done. So yes, it makes it more versatile, but I'm not a massive fan. Um, here's another one where I've done the same thing and put the two pieces um, to make the, the edges. So that's that's what I've done. Uh, tattered lace number 31. Uh, it's called a, a delicate gate, this die. Um, and I'll use it again and I'll, I'll get to play with it but that's what I was doing and I just thought I'd share that uh, in case you happen to buy the Tattered Lace magazine. Thanks for watching.